this would be the videos L dot JPEG or the videos L dash no JB if you're not using the jukebox. Alright. Uh let's see here. A couple other options you have to play with. I think you can see it better if we use this background here. Is under the options menu. We have top left rounded corner. That's a little rounded corner up here. Or top left uh bottom left rounded corner. Um some of those might work be uh work well with some of the large menu items like for this example. Uh let's see here. Something like that. The rounded corners might look better with that or something. Uh let's see. But you can leave them off if you want to. However you want it. Now we also have the applications menu. Let's turn on this new background here. The applications menu is the background of the list of the video screen or the uh, m movie uh, music screen or the picture screen. Uh, that's you, you already changed the background here. You can change this text to. Let's see here. You can change this text to pictures or music or whatever you want to change it to. Um, no other changes need to be made here. In the actions menu, click on applications because it's it's an application. Uh, and hit play. And then you have the new background for the application menu or application background. You want to do file, save as, and it's going to be video for the a dot jpeg for the video background music uh yeah music dot jpeg for the music background or photo dot jpeg for the photo background but this is for video so we'll do video dot jpeg format jpeg just hit enter here and that's done you can close out of that now for after that we have the um Oh, one other thing about the applications, uh, you might want to uncheck the options um, because the options does add a little uh, background, uh, a little um, fade to black on the right side. Uh, for example, if you look on this right here, um, if you look on the right side of the image, you can see it fades to black. By default, that is on, but in the applications background. Um, you do not want the op that fade. You don't want any of the options to be on there. Okay, so next is the system screen. For the system screen, you can leave the options on, or at least the uh, right overlay. And for the application, uh, the system screen, not much um, you have to change here. Uh, just that left blade on the left side here. This is what we have on by default, and with the needle, of course. However, we do have the original blade, and um, we have something like that. Now, these top three here, they don't really work well because they don't fade all the way to the black on the left side, but I left them there in case someone wanted to mess around with those. Alright, uh, at this point, I think I showed you all the options. Um, just for good measurement, I'll go ahead and uh, make a new application screen here. Or actually, I already did that. Let's make a new system screen using this background. And with the system screen, we'll choose this background, uh, this blade here. And with the system screen, and under the actions menu, on system screen, press play. Oh. Again, make sure on the right side nothing is highlighted here. So just click on the gray. Then click on system screen and try it again. And you should end up with two new images. 
This one is going to be for the right side. This one is going to be for the left side. Save these again. File, save as. It's going to be setup dash left dot jpeg for the left side. Format jpeg. And hit enter here. You can close this out. Hit no there. And for there, again, file, save as, setup right.jpg, format jpeg, uh, save here, and enter again. And you can close that out. Okay. And one other thing I wanted to show with the mini menu, if you turn that back on, uh, is if we go under mini menu and the mini menu leaf, you actually do have a few leaf options. You might see it better with this background here. Instead of that leaf, we have this one, or this one. And of course, some of these might l work better with um, some of the corners turned on. For example, something like that might look better, or maybe with the, with the top left corner turned on as well. So a couple options to play with there. So at this point, we sh we're done. Uh, we've made a new uh, background for the main menu. Uh, we made, um, let's see here, we made a new application screen, and we made a new app uh, system screen. Uh, for the system screen, you would of course choose an, a more appropriate background, something, the same background you, would, you chose for the menu uh, portion of the system. Uh, it, nor, but it, by default, it's uh, a picture of a hard drive. So we can go ahead and move out of Photoshop. And just to show you where I saved my images here, save them right here. We have the setup left, setup right, the video background, um, and the the menu uh, the menu screens here. And you want to open up the theme uh, folder. Uh, where you install themes for my iHome. Uh, this is an old version of the of the skin right here, uh, version 0 0.9. And how you want to do this is you want to first go into the background folder, and as you can see, these are the old uh, or new um, backgrounds. But if in case you want you change that video background, take the new one we just made, and drag it over replace it. That's done. You would replace photo and music too if you made new ones. Go under home, highlight, and drag over the videos L and the video videos R. Yes to all to replace. Go back. Let's go under icon. And this uh, this is the setup this is for the setup screen. And drag it over. Yes, to all to replace. And that's pretty. M and at this point, you want to go back to this part, and you want to copy this. And right-click and paste. Rename this to something new. You want to make sure there's no spaces in the folder name. My iHome complain. The new My I uh, version of My iHome complains if there's spaces in the folder name. Go ahead and open up my iHome. Edit preferences. Uh, here, you choose the new one. So whatever you know, whatever you made the new folder name, you choose that here. Edit preferences and choose that here. Hit OK. And give it a second. At at this point, you are pretty much done. Just uh, reload the skin on the popcorn hour. And uh, you should see your new uh, your new menu. Enjoy.